Pictures of snowy landscapes sometimes come out dull out of the camera. So today we're gonna use Photoshop to take one of those very dull images and turn it into a much more colorful version of itself. It's a pretty basic edit, but it's gonna make all the difference for whenever you need to post that. Let's jump in. So here's our dull image. Let's start with the composition. I chose this particular composition because I do like this middle part right here because it acts as some sort of a leading line. The problem is though, it doesn't go quite straight down. Let me demonstrate. So what it is currently doing, it's going like, this way, which is not very straight, but I do need it to go just like straight down here, basically. So an easy way to fix that is to grab the marquee tool using the button M, and I'm talking about the rectangular marquee tool right here, and simply drag a frame around the good portion of the image, maybe something like that. Now we can hit Command or Control and J on our keyboard, which will simply put that on a separate layer. There's a lot of shortcuts, but now we can hit Command or Control and T to be able to transform that. So I'm gonna grab the bottom left corner and hold my command or control button as well as my shift button and drag it to, oh, not to the bottom, no, ah, stop it, and drag it towards the left. And I'm gonna do that until I feel like I have a good position of that middle line now. Maybe something like this. Once done, I'm gonna hit enter. So now this thing goes a bit more straight and actually acts as a nice central leading line, which is good. Next, before we jump into the color, we need to clean up the photo a little bit. So you see there's like stuff at the, at the snow right here. And there's also a lot of stuff in the sky, like just little blemishes, dust spots on the lens or the sensor or whatever it may have been. And we need to get rid of those. So I'm gonna hit Command or Control, Option, Shift and N to create a new layer. Hit J to get my spot healing brush tool. And I'll simply go over these spots to make them disappear. Awesome, at the side here, we also have this little blemish in the snow. So I'll just go over that as well, because it distracts from the image. I don't like things that distract. That's better. So now we have cleaned up our photo, good. Now it's time to really boost our colors and the contrast a little bit. So we could do this with curves or anything like that, but let's just not, and let's keep it simple. We're gonna hit Command or Control, Option, Shift and E on our keyboard, which is gonna duplicate everything that you can see onto a separate layer that we have right here now. And with that selected, we can now go to Filter and then Camera Raw Filter. With that open, we're simply gonna increase the contrast a lot. So check this out, we're gonna drag that towards the right and the whole image comes to life a little bit. Find whatever setting works for your photo. I'm gonna go with something like 65. To make our leading line stand out a little bit more, I'm just gonna take the highlights because it's the brightest part of our photo and drag that towards the right. So it's just gonna shine a little bit more. And while we do have a good amount of color, let's also give it a splash of saturation, just a little bit, maybe something like 10 is good. Awesome, once we have that, we're gonna hit OK, and it's already a big improvement from the beginning. But we can definitely do more, especially when it comes to color. Maybe we can introduce a little bit of purple or magenta, let's do it. For this, we're gonna go under Adjustments and find the Curves Adjustment layer. So what I wanna do is bring some more magenta as well as some more contrast into the sky. So only looking at the sky right now, I'm gonna bring down the curve at this point right here, just looking at the clouds. And then I take those highlights and I pump them, I pimp them, I pump them up even more. And now look only at the sky, how it becomes more vibrant. Now, of course, you don't wanna go crazy with that, but something like this really gives the sky a bit more life. Now, of course, we don't want this everywhere. So let's hit Command or Control and I on your keyboard to hide the adjustment. Hit G to get your gradient tool. And I'm just gonna drag that top to bottom to introduce that change only in the sky. Maybe something like here. So if we have a look at the before and after, we see the sky simply a little bit more alive. But that's not all because we still miss the color. So let's go from our RGB curve to our red curve. I do want to introduce some of the reds in the brighter parts of the image. So I'm gonna take that bottom point basically here and drag it up a little bit. And if I drag it up, you'll see that magenta is entering into the sky. Just a little bit, not too much. And at the same time, I want to get rid of green. So I'll do the same thing, just the opposite with the green channel, just to get this really nice deep magenta into the sky, something like maybe this. Awesome, now we have a bit more color variation in the sky, which I do like a lot. Now the downside is only that in the top right hand corner we have a lot of blue now, right? So we can go to adjustments, take a hue saturation layer, go to the blues right here and bring down the saturation to whatever we feel right. Maybe something like, maybe something like this. Then we're gonna hit Command or Control and I to hide that adjustment and use a white brush to bring it out where the sky is a little bit too blue. So I'm just gonna go over that corner basically something like this, and we are good. Now it's a little bit more balanced. So the sky is good, let's get into the foreground. We're gonna do the same thing for the foreground as well. So we're gonna take an adjustment layer, curve layer, and then drag down that point around here. And I'm just looking at the foreground now and ignore the sky. Let's make it nice and moody. And then I'll take my top part and just bring that over a little bit to make the bright parts shine again, right? Maybe to something like, 
Not too much, something like this is ready enough. We don't want the snow to burn, like this is too much, but ever so slightly just to make it shine a bit more. Works. Awesome. Same thing, we're going to hit Command or Control and I on your keyboard, hit G to get our gradient tool, and I'll just drag that into the foreground, just maybe up to something like here. There we go. So now we have a bit more contrast and definition in the foreground. Awesome. So I do feel like we can add some more warm colors. So let's go to adjustments and add a color balance adjustment. And here, just a little bit, we can add a touch of red, just a touch, maybe even just plus three. And we can add a little bit of yellow. So maybe, maybe something like this. This will take some of the blue out of the photo, but add some more yellow, some more warm colors. So that's a sunset after all, right? So this is not bad, but I do want it to punch much more. So we're going to do the same thing from earlier. We're going to hit Command or Control, Option, Shift and E on our keyboard to copy everything that you can see onto a separate layer. So this layer I'm going to change from normal mode to soft light. Looks terrible, I know, but wait for it. We're going to go to filter and then blur and Gaussian blur. We're going to give that a nice whatever blur we feel right. We have to find the balance between losing too much detail or gaining too much contrast and, well, it looking good. I do love that softness that is being created by this method. And I think that this looks good. We're going to keep that. But our bottom right corner is, of course, a little bit too, well, blue and too dark. So let's drop a layer mask on that and use a black brush to simply go over that area and remove some of that edit effect to bring back the texture and the original color of that area. There we go. Yes, that's a little bit better. If you don't feel like you have enough magenta, as we did before, grab another adjustment layer, grab some curves, go to your reds and simply bring them in a little bit more in the same way we have done before. You can also decide just to bring them in in the back. So I can just go a little bit more crazy. And that's at least how it looks like right now. Once I have that, I'm going to hit Command or Control and I to hide it and use a white brush to bring the effect in or that color in wherever I feel like. So in this case, we can simply bring in some of that magenta in this middle area right here. Awesome. And if we feel like it's too much, we can simply reduce the opacity and make it fit for us. Let's say something like 60% looks very natural. I like it. So check this out. Within a couple of minutes, we went from really, really dull to very, very nicely colorful, bright and drawing the viewer into our photo. Of course, in your photos, you can choose to reduce the blues a little bit more to add more magenta if you want to add more yellow, if you want to have more of that sunset feel. Do whatever you need to to get those dull images to a level that simply looks amazing. Either way, that's it for today's edit. I have to go and edit some more and I shall see you next time. Have a good one.